Yeah, what is up YouTube? What's up Facebook? Um, this is your boy Six Swag, aka KK, coming at you guys today with an inspired video. And this um inspired video is from um what is her name? Evelyn Lozada on Basketball Wise. This look is from the reunion show. Um, as you can see, I have a silverish blue lid with a two tone purple crease. Um, we have basically very natural lashes, a very natural highlight, um, a pinky glow on the cheeks, um, contoured a little bit, and nudish pinky lips. So, if you'd like to see how I got this look, stay tuned. Okay, I have already primed my eye with NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color look. Um, if you want this to last, you could just put a eyeshadow base. Um, on before you do this. I'm not doing this to last all night or anything like that because I'm going to take it right back off. But anyway, I have my eye primer with it and we are going to first go in with our lid color. I'm using a CoverGirl color and it is in Sterling Blue. It's silver but it has a blue tone to it. I'm going to use a shader brush like this. I'm not going into the crease at all. I'm trying to stay. Right below it. Do you want me to here? No. I'm blending that edge out. I didn't mean to take it so far over, but it's fine. Um, next color I'm going to use is this one. And it is in from Boyd. It's a hip duo. I'm going to use the other side of the toothbrush. If I can fucking find it here, it's a double sided brush. I'm going to use this end of it. I'm just going to shade it in just a little just to get the color started. And next I'm going to go into this color. It is called Purple Haze by Urban Decay. And I'm going to hit it in maybe four or five times. It's very pigmented color. And I'm going to just take off some of the excess. Just a little bit get to match the other side. Okay. So we have that. And you know how this goes. I'm going to go back into the red color because we lost a little bit of it.
Next, I'm going in with this color. This is in the reckless duo. I'm going to take a dark purple. I'm going to use this to add some depth and dimension to the look. We're not going to pack it on or even make it very noticeable, but I just want to create contrast between the two colors. So this is our middle color, and this is like on a bullet brush, pencil brush. I think I got it from Coastal Sense. And I'm also going to take that color underneath the eye. Just a bit. Okay? So, this is what we have so far. And next, I'm going to take this brush. And then the purple. And then, to the look. I'm going to take this brush that had the, um, purple haze on it. I'm going to pick up a little bit more. Further blend in the purple. I want it to be faint, but I want it to be seen, but I don't want it to be very, very dark. is almost complete but I want to get rid of that um, slightly harsh line that you see there. So I'm going to take this one. It has like a bluish iridescence to it. I don't know if you can see it. Just take a little bit Let us see. The king complete. Let me take this. This is in dashing. It's like one of the blackest books that I've ever seen in drugstore. But it's reckless. I mean, dashing, excuse me. And the reason why I'm using my eyeshadow to line my eye is because There was some darkness on uh, her eye. There was also a slight wing, but it wasn't liquid liner or gel liner because it was very soft. Mm -hmm. Go underneath the eye. We connect the one on the other corner.
Lashes. I'm not going to put them on for the sake of time, but I used the Lashes and Blue Box number 15. Oh, number 15. They're basically natural lashes. Just add a little bit of flair to them. Um, there we have that. Contour. A contour with a bronzer. A couple of point collection in brown bronze. Look out of my window And he creeps to me closer And every let me know Brown eyeshadow Just to deepen up the contour a little bit using a Corel brush and it is in I don't know I don't know but it looks like this it's pinky but it has goldy um shimmer in it Just a little bit. I then took a red one lipstick and it's a matte. This is in the color mood attitude. I took it on my finger. I don't want to put it on too strong because it looks very, very weird. Put it onto our lips. And I use a pink tone lip gloss. It has gold shimmer in it also. And I went right over the top. Actually, I have a few minutes left. Let's see if I can squeeze this lash on. And recently, I found myself using hair glue to apply my lashes. It dries a lot quicker. And cleanup is a lot more simple. I'm in the Cali Green 6 Cornbread Nickets. Get their Halloween cakes, trick or treat in the crutch. Come on, Nikki, is your trick in the wet? Flow, for flow, tighter than the dick in the butt. Like, 
boy Clemmy hey quickly you can't lose is that why they get more hate than shampoos I said mama they come no one for me and they never let it see boy cause it's Barbie bitch and join the wave Set it in place. Let that dry. You can add mascara and all that good stuff. But that completes our look for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any requests, please let me know. Um, I will leave a picture of the look and I want you guys to tell me how I did. But other than that, I love you guys. Please write, comment, subscribe. Like the video if you like it, and I will see you guys later. Thank you.